you know what day it is? I hope you know what day it is. It's a good day. But not only is it a good day. It's college football Saturday. That's right. College football Saturday is here. My favorite day of the week. My favorite time of the year is when college football is here. I didn't mean to run like that, but you know, we're gonna we're gonna move past that. Um College football is my favorite sport by far. College basketball is a close second. Um I just I don't know. College football is I like the okay, let me put it this way. I like the pros, I like the NFL and I like the NBA. I just I'm not able to watch there's like NFL and NBA as much as I can watch college football and college basketball like I can sit I can sit down and watch college football literally all day and not get tired of it NFL I can kind of get tired of it like, I, don't just, I just don't know what it is like the excitement level is just not there for me when it comes to the N NFL and NBA um anyways that's a different video for a different day um <clears throat> in this video I'm going to be going over some of the some of my predictions for some of the top games today that are going to be going down. Uh, we've got a few good ones. Um, right off the top of my head, I know we got Ole Miss and um, Texas A&M. And then we got High State and Purdue. Um, so that's just two like the uh, the headlines like that are way up there. And... Uh, Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. I'll be giving score predictions for all these. I'll probably go through about 10 games or so. Because we're getting to that time of the year when a lot of teams have uh, these cupcake games. And they're not really that interesting. But still got a few good ones in here. So let's go ahead and jump into these. The first game I'm going to go over that's on my list here is number 25, Arkansas at LSU uh, it says here that Arkansas is three-point favorites over LSU um, oh we're about to get a video here on my phone wait never mind <laughs> hold on um, so yeah it says Arkansas is three-point favorites over LSU which I'm just gonna put this out there I am an LSU fan um, I have been for a long time, since like 06, and I was born in 98, so like when I was 7, 8 years old, I've been watching this team. Um, but Arkansas being 3 point favorites, I mean, it's honestly a little bit low. It's a little bit low. Uh, it just depends on what LSU team is going to show up tonight. Um, is it going to be the team that beat Alabama, that almost beat Alabama and gave them all they could handle in Tuscaloosa? Is it going to be the team that showed up and beat Florida at home? I know Florida ain't that great, but at the time, they they were a ranked opponent. They were like 16, I believe. But it just depends what LSU team we're going to get. Are we going to get the one that got stomped against Ole Miss? Are we going to get the one that... Um, Lost to Auburn. I mean, it wasn't really a bad loss, but the way they, that LSU looked in that game just wasn't good. Um, I mean, Arkansas—they're having a—they're having a pretty good year. They started off really hot, beating Texas. Um, they beat Texas A&M. Uh, they've yet to play Alabama, <clears throat> and they nearly beat Ole Miss. Uh, it came down to a what was it a two-point conversion that Arkansas didn't convert to win the game um so I mean it's a rivalry game for the boot so it's it's I think it's gonna be close um I'll just say this <sighs> it's hard to tell what LSU team is gonna show up like did they give it their all against Alabama like did they just throw everything out on the line against Alabama um I don't know it so I'm gonna go ahead and say it's at LSU if they bring this new energy 
which, you know, it's a rivalry game. They've been getting up for rivalry games. I think LSU can pull this one off. I think they can. I mean, if they can slow down that Alabama offense, they can slow down Arkansas, I believe. I think Arkansas's defense is going to be a little bit better um, and tougher to move the ball on. But I'm going to go with LSU to win this game, and I'll give it a score of... Uh, I'll give it a score of, um, 27-24. I think it's going to be a very close one, but LSU pulls it out. Um, next up, we got, uh, number six, Michigan at Penn State. Michigan coming in as two-point favorites. This one's tough. If it was a night game, I think I would lean more towards Penn State, just because of the atmosphere there at night. Um, Michigan can run the ball extremely well. Their offense has been coming alive. They've been passing the ball better each and every week. Um, they should arguably still be undefeated. They blew a big lead against Michigan State. Um, I think I'm going to go with Michigan to win this game. Penn State is going to give them a fight. Like they gave Ohio State a fight, but then again, if you go back and look at it, Penn State and Ohio State was a night game. Playing at Happy Valley at night during like a whiteout, completely different story than playing there at noon. Um, the energy is just, it's just there at nighttime. Uh, it's one of the toughest places to play for opposing teams when you go into Penn State at nighttime in prime time. Um, so I'm going to go with Michigan to win this. Uh, I think they'll end up winning pretty convincingly. Not like crazy convincingly. I think they'll get like a 10 point win maybe. I'm going to go with uh, a score. Penn State's defense is pretty good. And so is Michigan. So I think it's going to be a little bit lower scoring. I'll give it 20 to 10. Michigan wins. Uh, next up, we got number 8, Oklahoma, and number 13, Baylor. Oklahoma coming in as 4.5 point favorites. They're at Baylor. This is the game I think Oklahoma drops. But this is a very important game for Oklahoma. The rest of the season is important games for Oklahoma. Because they need to win out their last four games, the last three regular season games, and their conference title game, and they need to win all of those in order to get into the college football playoff. They cannot have a slip up. They just can't. Um, they, they've had a close game against Tulane, which I believe is like a one or two win team. They're not very good. Um, nearly not lost to Nebraska, both at home, by the way. Um, they were down big against Texas. I believe it was 28-7 in the first quarter. They were down 28-7, and Texas is not that good of a team. That being said, Spencer Rattler was the quarterback then. Now it's Caleb Williams, and he's brought a new life to this Oklahoma offense. And, I mean, he does bring a new life to it, but Baylor is a very good defensive team. Led by Dave Aranda, who is a defensive coach. A defensive-minded coach. I don't know. I think Baylor is going to pull this one off. I don't, I don't. I think I would still pick Baylor to win, even if they played at Oklahoma. I just think Baylor is going to pull it off somehow. And... What was it, last year? Um, was it last year or a few years ago? that uh Baylor had a big lead on Oklahoma and they blew it what was it 28 to 3 and they blew a lead and lost um I think I don't think it's going to be nearly that bad I think it's going to be a little bit closer but I think Baylor's going to pull it out it's not going to be high scoring I don't think it's going to be like the West Virginia and Oklahoma game it's going to be like I'd say it's going to be 23 17 Baylor Um, next up we got uh, 
Uh, who do we want to do? Number one, Georgia at Tennessee. <coughs> Sorry. Georgia is 20 point favorites over Tennessee. That's high. That's a little bit high. <coughs> this is the same Tennessee team we're used to seeing in recent years where they're just going to show up and pretty much lay on their back and take a beating. This is not that team. Um, Tennessee is going to put up a fight. They're at Tennessee. That place is going to be rocking. It's a 3.30 start Eastern start time game. And... I mean, we saw what Tennessee did with Alabama for three, three and three and like a quarter quarters. <sighs> oh man, this is a tough. Uh, Georgia's gonna win. It's just a matter of how bad. Tennessee's not gonna score a lot of points. <laughs> like, I'm pretty much sold on that. So it's just up to Tennessee's defense. How much can they stop Georgia's offense? Georgia's offense is not elite by any means. It's tolerable. Like, it's it can score points, but it's not elite. So, if a Tennessee defense shows up to play, I think we might have a more of a game on our hands. I still don't think Tennessee wins, just because Georgia's defense is so opportunistic, and they just get after you and you're bound to make a mistake at some point and get in the ball and get in plus territory um i don't think tennessee really hangs in there with them i do think 20 point favors is a little bit high for georgia just because tennessee's been playing pretty well but i'm gonna go ahead and give georgia 20 a 20 point win I'm gonna go ahead and make it 30 to. S no, I'll give him a 23 point win. I'll say Georgia wins 20 to 7, 30 to 7. I'll say Georgia wins 30 to 7. <sighs> Tennessee's just not gonna be able to move the ball. They're just not gonna be able to. It's gonna be tough. Oof. I'm a mess. <laughs> um. Okay. Number 19, Purdue. At number four, Ohio State. Ohio State's 20 and a half point favorites. I'm telling you right now, that 20 and a half point favorite stuff, throw it away. Throw it away. Because this Ohio State team is not beating Purdue by 20 points. Ain't happening. Now, Purdue has been on fire. Especially against top five teams, top three teams. They've already beaten Iowa and they've already beaten... Michigan State, who were ranked number two and three, respectively. Um, the highest State's ranked four. <laughs> this is not a top three team; it's a top five team. So, are we gonna get the team that plays? Are we gonna get the Purdue team that plays top three teams and obliterates them, <laughs> dominates them, or are we gonna get the Purdue team that lost three games? Um, I understand why people are picking Purdue to win this game. I get it. They won at Iowa. Extremely hard place to win at. And they beat Michigan State at home. This is in Columbus. Are they gonna give a high state problems? Yes. But I there's a, it, they're not able to play the underdog story anymore. Like they're not playing that underdog role anymore. And that's gonna be the thing that like is different about this game because no like a lot of people just rolled him out for beating Iowa they I mean they were aware that Purdue could beat Michigan State but they didn't think they had it in and they went twice in a row but they did <laughs> in, in convincing fashion um, now people are expecting Purdue to beat Ohio State and that's where I think things change and that's where I think Ohio State is able to pull away a win. Very close though. I, I'm going to make this like a single digit game, like a one score game. I think it's going to be fairly high scoring. Probably about like the Michigan State and Purdue game. 
Just because I don't think Ohio State's defense is that good. Um, and by the way, Purdue has all the confidence, confidence in the world right now. Probably the most confidence out of any team in the country besides Georgia. Um, Ohio State coming off a close win against Nebraska. Wasn't exactly one of their best wins. Um, ah, man. I'm going to go with the Ohio State to win it. I'll give it like 35-31. Ohio State wins 35-31. Uh, how many games we got left here to do? We'll do two more. First one's going to be 11 Texas A&M at 15 Ole Miss. A&M is two and a half point favorites. This game I'm up in the air for. Like, out of all the games this week, this one I'm most up in the air for. Because I just don't know. A&M's defense is good. Um, A&M's defense is very good. Ole Miss's offense is very good. Ole Miss's defense is suspect. Texas A&M's offense... I don't know what it is. <laughs> like, it just... It's like... It's like LSU, like, what version of that are you going to get? Are you going to get the A&M that put up 41 on Alabama and beat them? Or are you going to get the team that struggled to score against Arkansas? Like, if A&M can run the ball, which they should be able to do, against Ole Miss, I think A&M wins. Because I think A&M's defense is going to be able to get a few stops on that Ole Miss defense, or offense. They'll be able to get enough stops, I should say. If it's one or two stops, that might be enough. I mean, teams, you can score on Ole Miss. Like, of course, their defense is a little bit better than it has been in recent years, but you can still score on this team. So, solely based on A&M being able to run the ball effectively and efficiently... I'm going to go ahead and give Texas A&M the win. It's just a matter of how high scoring it's going to be. I think it's going to be pretty high scoring. I'll say it's probably going to be like 45 to 40. Yeah, I'll say 45. Actually, I'll make it 45-38. Texas A&M wins. And the last one. Uh, who do we got? Number 16, NC State. At number 12, Wake Forest. Wake Forest is two, in, is two point favorites. I, I'm just going to be real. I was never really on the Wake Forest hype train when they were undefeated last week. Um, they were ranked number 9. I didn't think they really deserved to be number 9. Just because, I mean, they don't play defense. Like, yeah, their offense is great. Like, their passing offense is amazing. But they just don't play defense. It's pretty much like the Oklahoma effect. Like, every year. Like, they have a great offense, but a suspect defense. It's like, in order to be a playoff team, you have to be able to do both. Like, you gotta be elite and Or you gotta be great in one aspect, either offense or defense. And you gotta be at least okay in the other. Um, in order to survive. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, uh, I think NC State's defense is good enough to get a few stops, like North Carolina was able to do. I mean, not that there were many stops, because that game was pretty high scoring. Um, but I think NC State's defense is going to give them more problems than North Carolina could. And NC State's offense not being particularly good. It's okay. I don't, I still don't think Wake Forest is going to be able to stop them. Uh, so I do think NC State scores enough points to pull off the upset. I'll say, I don't know, if it's a shootout, Wake Forest, actually I'm switching. 
I'm switching it. Because I just think with Wake Forest pace, they're gonna give NC State a lot of problems. And I might get in trouble for doing this by switching my answer because I should go with my gut and my gut says NC State. But I'm going off my head now and I'm thinking the way Wake Forest plays, they will up pace, like high tempo. I think NC State's eventually gonna have to play that. And I do think Wake Forest will win if that happens. So I'm gonna say Wake Forest wins 38-27. I just don't think NC State's offense is going to be able to keep up with them if it gets to that point, which it probably will. Most likely will. Um, so yeah, 38-27, Wake Forest gets the win at home against NC State. Um, and that'll do it for my predictions this week. There aren't like a whole lot of other games that are really worth going over. A lot of them are teams playing like smaller cupcake teams and you know you know they're gonna win that game. They should win that game. We've seen some crazy things over the years, but uh yeah, that's gonna go ahead and do it for my predictions. Um I'm excited for today. Um my predictions are probably gonna we're probably gonna look back on this video later on and be like, wow, he is an idiot. <laughs> Um, <laughs> the one pick I'm really iffy about is Wake Forest beating NC State. Um, the more I think about it, the more I believe that a will beat Ole Miss, even though that's the game I've been most up in the air about. But, yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts on this week down below. And, uh, yeah, I'll be doing one of these videos every single Saturday or, you know, every week at some point. Just predictions about the game's coming up and uh yeah that's something to look forward to and yeah i will catch you guys in the next video uh probably today because i'm gonna be double uploading i'm gonna be uploading a battlefield game a battlefield video so yeah you guys can look forward to that and i will catch you guys later